Yes, it shouldn't have been coined as revolution now. However, it's talking for the people. The people are fed up. The people are fed up of how the system crushes you, how the system celebrates corrupt people, how the system praises those who steal a lot of money, government money, our money that should take care of the people. They return back to the country, they're celebrated, they're even given appointments. How we have governors who served for eight years, before then they were senators for eight years, honorables for eight years, and then they finished as a governor, then they now came back as senators and grow old there and die there. So we're fed up, we're fed up. But the only thing is I'm not happy how he was detained and kept for so long. So it's you, illegal. It's illegal. At the end of the day, they need to charge him to court if there's a case, or they need to just slap him on the wrist and say, look, don't talk, don't talk about revolution because it might sound like treason. However, you're a young man, you're a Nigerian, we'll pardon you on this issue. So why is it that when we see someone that's talking about the rights of the masses, it's being dealt with harshly, but when you have those who are meant to represent us committing crimes, they're not dealt with at all, especially if they're in the ruling party. So, so you I, support that he should be detained? He released. He needs to be released, yes. We need to release Showere, and we need to release the, the guy in Kaduna as well, um, Dati. Yeah, the guy in Kaduna as well needs to be released. You know, he's a journalist and he talks and they arrested him. However, he hasn't been charged to court, so they need to release them. So if not revolution now, what do you suggest we should have been tagged? Um, there's going to be a movement. It has to be a movement. A movement for change. And I'm talking uh, real Nigerian change. A movement where, where we would demand for equal rights, where we would demand for what is our right in this Nigeria, uh, where we will have a fair system, where we will have a, a, an enabling environment for people to thrive in. We have so many youths coming out of universities, polytechnics, technology schools with no job creation, you know, nothing for them to do. So what kind of future is that going to be if, if, if this movement doesn't come up eventually? I'm on a movement for no woman, no votes for 2023. What I does that ensure, mean? Yes, is to ensure that a woman becomes the president of Nigeria. It's to ensure that in every state in Nigeria we have credible women that will contest election and we will all stand by them. And I mean the grassroots and I mean people will fund it crowdfunding people will support us so that we get there because we've discovered that men have been doing it for over uh, Nigeria is over what 60 almost 60 at the end of the day it hasn't improved so it means more women need to come into politics more women need to be part of the decision making to ensure so what do you have to say to those women out there who aspire to hold one or two political but they have not summoned enough courage to come they up. need to be bold they need to be courageous uh, i've never done politics in my life i entered it just last year and i contested to be the governor of your state uh, whatever will kill you will kill you one day so you can't be playing safe and saying i don't want to do it because they might kill me so when it's your time it will be your time Oh, definitely. We're going to rebrand, we're going to reorientate the women, we're going to give them confidence. We're going to let them know that if you have the qualities to deliver, you will get there. And we're going to let them know religion doesn't stop you from serving your people. It's in the Quran, it's in the Bible. If a woman has the qualities or a man has the qualities, let them serve. There's no difference between man and woman in the Bible and in the Quran. It was written there. So don't let them use religion to disenfranchise you from stepping forward and fighting for the rights of your people in your state. Mm -hmm.